hello everyone in this program in this sorry in this video we will develop a chat application which will be based on console and that application will be having multi threading feature so that server and client can chat with each other at the same time and there won't be any waiting so that if server want to send any message it can send any number of time client want to send any message it can send any number of Time. So what we are going to do is that we will create one extra thread in our program. By default, every program is having only one thread main. So we will go in, we will create actually one more thread. So one thread actually will handle user input and one thread will handle input which is coming from network. So here let's first uh, write our server program so we need to import java.net package and java.io package for stream classes and we will save it as let's say chat server 1 so in this class what we going to need we will declare those variables so we need a server socket class object and we need a socket class object data output string for sending data and data input string for receiving data buffer reader for taking input from user so in constructor we, uh, we will create all the object so first we will create server so it is a server socket class object and we will assign a port number let's say 3003 and we start our servers ok next we will create object of data output stream and input stream and one data input string and we will create that buffer reader object so all objects are created so in constructor what we will do is that uh, first okay uh, we need to create a thread so here we need we will implement a runnable interface in the same class and uh, after implementing the enable interface we need to define run method so when we create an extra thread that thread actually will execute this method so in this method what we are going to write we will create an infinity loop and what this loop will do this loop will take uh, this loop actually will take input from user so let's say that variable is usr we will store user input in this variable so whenever a user will give a input it will take input and it will send it to client So this run method actually will be executed forever because this is a while loop and this condition is always true and whenever there is an input it will read it and it will send it. So this code will be executed by our extra thread and what our thread will do? So in our thread uh, let's say we will create one more method or in constructor we can do this thing we will create a for loop and what this for loop will do if there is any data coming from 
client. So it will print that data on the screen. That's it. And before going for this one, we need to create a thread. So before starting this while loop, we need to create our thread. So these two lines here, when this statement will get executed, extra thread will be created and that thread will start executing this code and current thread will continue with its code, uh, it's this while loop. So two thread will be executing simultaneously and finally we need to define public static void main method. So we have divided uh, two tasks in, in two threads. One thread will handle user input and send it. One thread will handle uh, message that is coming from network. Okay, so when we create object of chat server one class, constructor will get called, or this uh, constructor actually create a server socket class object. It will accept a client request. And then it will create extra thread and so these two thread actually will do two tasks. So now let's say we are saving our file with chat server.java. So we need to write one client program as well. So what we are going to do, we are taking this server program and we will change it to make it client. So in client program we don't need our socket class object. Here, instead of this one, we directly create a socket class object. And that object needs two information, IP address of server. So, in our case, server also running on the same machine. And then, port number. So, if your server is running on another machine in the same network, you have to specify IP address of that machine here. And this code is fine. Uh, it will work. And we will save it. So let's see now execution. So we need to open two terminal, one for client, one for server. Okay, one problem is there is that we have not handled any exception. So we need to handle those exceptions. In case if we don't want to handle, in that case we need to specify here throws. So one exception can be generated when we are creating server socket class object, and one exception can be generated here. So here we will enclose our code in try catch block okay and this code also has to be enclosed in try catch y because this code will call constructor and constructor explicitly specified that this constructor can throw Exceptions. So we will enter this code also in try catch block. Now let's see is there any other error or not. I do so there is one error in 23 line. The, the error is we have missed one braces. So these are the actual errors. Uh, we wrote wrong spelling of exception. Again, we will compile. So 
cannot find symbol server okay so here we have written wrong spelling that's why this error came again we will compile okay so now it's compiled successfully so this try catch we need to do in client program as well so first of all here we will write that this constructor will not handle any exception and here we will enclose this one into try catch and finally when we are creating object of chat client we will enclose it into try catch block okay so now we will compile it and we will see the execution save java c okay so there is one error what is that we have not changed constructor now it's fine so our both program got compiled now we will run chat server program and then we will run chat client program so here if you can see if you this client want to send any message hello how are you tell me so there is no restriction like it has to wait for server message first then it can write so here these applications if they want to write they want to send any number of message they can send uh, let's say hi I am fine so there is no restriction so this is a chat application a simple chat application which can provide chatting facility between a client and server and this is having a multi-threading feature there is no restriction on the application so in next one what we are going to do is that we are going to create a server which can handle multiple client requests and uh, that server can provide a public chatting facility to all those clients. Thank you very much for watching.